Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Cynthia Nickerson. It's summertime, school is out, track season is over, but Manville High School graduate Mackenzie Smostrela is still working out. You earn your scholarship, it's not like you can just quit. Definitely not, because you might be the number one in high school, but there's definitely better than you in college. I'm tiny compared to what's up there. I'm little, I'm not anything super big. Whenever I'm going up to a and like I'm going up to an NCAA national championship team, like it's gonna be hard, you gotta work harder to get to where they're at now. McKenzie earned a track scholarship to Texas A&M. For her to graduate high school, with all that she had done, as well as now moving off into college with a scholarship is pretty amazing. And words can't express how um, excited I am for her and how I'm just, I'm proud of her. I'm just absolutely proud of her. During McKenzie's junior year, she won first place in the state UIL 5A high jump meet. She tried for a repeat this season, but fell short. She did hurt her back during this year's track season. Yeah, it was just like painful to jump. And then I just, I don't know if I was really in good jumping shape because of it. I think she can take this in stride because she's been on the top. She fell a little bit. She's willing and wanting to pick herself up to do what she knows she's capable of doing. And uh, she knows she can compete in the SEC. So she wants to be in the best shape possible before heading up to A&M which is the reason she gets up early every weekday and spends three hours working out here at CES Performance. I love that place. I've been good. This is my second summer going there. Um, they have done wonders for me, getting me in shape, everything we do. And they do so like sports specific. I don't do what like football does and they just, they treat me well there. Uh, her personality, she likes to work, um, she doesn't mind it, um, she wants to get better, she has uh, the commitment um, to get better and uh, just watching her progress has been a treat uh, for us here at CS uh, because she does, she comes in here ready to work each day. Mackenzie has a real dedication to track and it's a big change for her since she spent 13 years playing softball before deciding to concentrate on track. When you're in junior high, you kind of do every sport. So that's what I did, I did like every sport. And my favorite one in school was track because you don't, they don't have school softball. So I did all the running events and the coaches put me in everything, like the maximum events that you can be in. And one of mine was high jumps. They were like, oh, you're tall, you can do it. So they put me in it and um, I ended up winning every single meet. And I was like, you know what, this is what I want to do. Because my dream has always been to go to Texas A&M. And he, my dad told me, if you can get this high, we can contact the A&M coach and hopefully you can get something. So I, I jumped my 5'8 and I said, yes, we can finally contact the A&M coach. And then I ended up jumping a 5'10 I was like, Done. <laughs> I want to go to AM. As a dad, A, going to college and getting a scholarship is amazing, but then picking Texas AM is also special to my heart as well since I went to school there. Track is a tradition for this family. Mackenzie's grandfather ran track in college, and her aunt ran in the 1984 Olympic trials with Flojo and Evelyn Ashford. So Mackenzie has some family role models who understand the ups and downs of competitive sports. I worked out with my grandpa. My grandpa worked out with me a lot. He pushed me hard. My dad started this track. He ran track in high school and he also ran track in college and then ultimately uh, graduating from Magnese State. But he held, a, he was on a relay team and they held a national record, which is a world record. Back then he's 78 years old. Just knowing what all she put on her shoulders and, and the stress to try to let me see if I can step it up a notch. You know, I know she was saying one of her goals was to jump six foot, and we know she can do it. She did it in her training um, on a constant basis. But when you get out there and you're, it's going on the books, it really can mess with um, mess with your minds. And that's some of the that's some of the things with the coaches at A and M. I know will be able to help her massage out of, um, get a, a a stronger mentality of 
you can do it, you, you will do it. McKenzie heads off to her dad's alma mater later this summer to join a powerhouse track team that's won four straight national championships. Well, I'm very excited to be going into that. And it's a lot of, not pressure, but like thoughts of me like, hey, that could be me next year. You know, that I want to do that. I want to get a ring my freshman year. I want to win an SEC NCAA Outdoor National Championship. That's a dream. Good luck, Mackenzie Smostrela at Texas A&M. I'm Cynthia Nickerson. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.